Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a new short movie. The name of the short movie is What if Naruto and Kurama's soul was switched by Shinigami and yeah guys, it is an unscripted short movie. Now before continuing this shout out is due where it is due. Shout out to Jimmy Desai Tais for suggesting this idea. Now there were a lot of interesting ideas. I will be making a different one on my Meta What If channel. The link will be in the description. If you haven't checked it out already, please do so. And yeah, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to both of my channels and without any further ado, let's begin with our today's short movie. Our story begins with a mischievous divine being known as Shinigami, the son of Kami herself. As we go towards Shinigami's room where we see the mischievous god of death was bored to his death. As the young god was trying to come up with a reason to entertain himself, he got a call, a summon. As he rose an eyebrow, seeing that he had nothing better to do, he thought why not? and arrived heeding the call of one Minato Namikaze. And as soon as he arrived, Minato Namikaze questioned him and requested him of a certain thing. Shinigami-sama, I called you here because I wish for you to seal the chakra of the Kyubi into my children. And ex in exchange, I will give you my soul. As Shinigami knew, because he has been doing this sort of deals with the Uzumakis in the past, and for the first time being summoned in a long time, he too was shocked that it wasn't an Uzumaki. And that is when he noticed something, and had a mischievous idea. I will do as you say, Minato Namikaze, but instead of taking your soul, I will take another. I am ready to give mine, if, if, if that is what you want, Shinigami-sama. I would not need your soul as well, Hiroz and Sarutobi. For what you see, I have my own terms of working with humans. Because we, gods, cannot involve ourselves directly, we have to come up with a payment method. And I, myself, will be choosing my own payment. What, what, what do you mean by that? Said Minato as he now was scared. As Shinigami then pointed towards one of his children, I want that child's soul. But w what will happen to the Kyubi's soul? Y you can take his soul. Kyubi is a being that I cannot take. He is a being of great power and balance for this world. And henceforth I will seal the Kyubi's soul within that child. No, not our Naruto Minato. Ah yes, he is who I thought he is. <laughs> take that mother, taking my toys away. I will take yours. As Shinigami then moved forward and literally took Naruto's soul and sealed the Kyubi's within Naruto's all the while on the other side, the Kyubi's chakra was split into two parts as Menma and Mito became the Jinchuriki of the chakra, as Minato and Kushina were shocked and broken by this outcome. As Shinigami then said, I will be leaving with my payment now, Minato. And with that, the Shinigami disappeared, changing and altering everything. But what he didn't anticipate it was that back at home, his mother and aunt will be pissed at him. Shinigami, what have you done? said Kami, yelling at her son. W what do you mean by that, mother? I don't understand. You took the child of prophecy away. You knew. Every one of us knew. And because of what you have done, nephew, the other gods are also pissed. And now, you must be punished for the sake of peace between the deities. What? You can't do this to me. Of course, I know. And that is why your, sp your punishment is... You will be stripped from your powers and titles and become a minor deity for more than thousands of years until you are ready to take the responsibility and have matured enough. As, as the soul of Narada was also taken, as now we see, Shinigami then said, Please mother, g give me another chance. I, I promise I won't disappoint. Enough. I have given you my divine judgment. Leave. Get out of my sight. As on the other side we see, Yami then said, We have to sort a lot of messes out that Shinigami has created. But first thing first, we need to sort and calm the deities down because of what has happened. And after that, we will think about the Jinchuriki and the Child of Prophecy. Yeah, I guess you are right. <sighs> we have to do for the sake of our peace and for the world's and universe safety what is more important. As this was going on, we go towards the human realm, where we see ears begin to pass by while mere moments have passed above in heaven. As Naruto or Kyubi in Naruto's soul 
has grown older as he knew who he was and was faking it as he would deliberately hurt the people who tried to hurt him as well leading to the conclusion that it indeed was the QB amongst everyone in Konoha and because of that reason nobody was able to get close to him not even Tenoichi and Ayame because they knew it was QB in human skin and each night there was a fox hunt but people were the only ones who got injured and hurt but sometimes it was the fox who healed himself now QB knew perfectly well that it was stripped from its power but Naruto has enough chakra in itself that he was able to make do with what with what he had all the while Minato and Kushina merely focused on their children as this was going on we see that five to six years have gone by as finally Shinigami and K Shinigami was able to come to realization of his mistakes but his punishment was not subdued and he went on to remind his mother of something that might have been forgotten by her what do you want Shinigami if it is again about lifting your punishment I will not do that no mother it is something more the child it it soul still resides with you there is no child of prophecy down there as Kami realized in order to create peace for the whole universe she has forgotten the other side of the duty the child of prophecy the key to all of that <sighs> I have forgotten that fine I will go and exchange the soul as now we see Kami went and exchanged the soul of QB with Naruto while QB was reincarnated or left to be reincarnated now into the elemental nation all the other side we see that Naruto regaining his memories all was a bit shocker what is going on as unfortunately for Naruto he was wandering outside at the moment and was captured by the people and beaten to the bloody inch of his life no matter how much he yelled nobody came there instead people joined in to beat him to a bloody pulp scream more you demon there's nothing you can do and nobody will save you here as this was going on we see that Naruto with pure sheer fear was able to do something that he or nobody else would have thought in. a wooden dome rose and protected him as Naruto was begin to heal within that dome because of his own chakra as Naruto heart rate rose as he was scared as using a new technique he began to dug a tunnel and get out of there all while being in shock as now we see Naruto arrive somewhere safe within the forest as he begins to pant heavily but what is going on where, where am I this this place I know what it is it's Konoha due to Naruto's soul being switched the memories of QB was transferred to him and he began to remember what has happened but I'm not QB as that is when Shinigami appeared next to him as he sat down who are you? I am the one who caused all of this, Naruto. You see, I I wanted to get back at my mother for taking my toys away. So I thought that you, being her toy, I, I should mess with you. And I messed with your life, altering everything, Naruto. I, I don't understand what you're trying to say. I am Shinigami. As Naruto's eyes widened, as soon as he heard this, my mother is coming, yes, Naruto. I know it is hard to believe, but it is true. Your soul was switched by me and taken as payment because your father summoned me to seal the Biju away in the three of you. Now, I should have taken his soul as payment, but I didn't. I took yours. But, but why? I wanted to get back at my mother. And I was being stupid. I'm sorry, Naruto. But... The people really think that you are the QB, but I'm not, am I? No, Naruto. Your soul was recently switched. And without my mother noticing, I gave you a few of the powers to help you with the in the future. What powers? For instance, the Mokitan of the first Hokage. He was a legendary wood release user. And not only that, was a sage of nature in itself as well. And second of all, you have greatest water affinity as well as earth affinity as Naruto was shocked but why why give me all of this after <sighs> I'm sorry Naruto I did not knew that I was I was causing this much harm 
for the first time in my life I realized that how much of a how much of a damage I have caused to the people surrounding me just for my own entertainment's sake and I apologize for you to you for that even if you can't forgive me now I hope you'll be able to find in your heart soon so all of them think that I'm the QB yes <sighs> what am I gonna do there there's a lot of other things you just need to discover yourself they won't even see my face even even they don't want me there how can I find myself doing something else there with those people they literally tried to kill me as soon as I woke up as Shinigami looked down how about you leave this place go somewhere safe travel understand what you really want but I what am I gonna do how am I gonna learn all of this how to learn to defend myself correct you're right about that how about this I'll give you a gift a parting one as a token of apology as well it's Naruto rose and eyebrow as Shinigami was present Shinigami then presented Naruto with a bunch of money scrolls as well as resources these will help you on the way but after learning you will have to decide what you do as after that Shinigami bowed for the first time in front of a mortal and apologized as Naruto accepted the apology and even gave him a hug as Shinigami left as this was going on we see Naruto getting up as he then said okay now that I have no way or reason to go back there and have all this to myself I think I should pretty much leave but if I leave right now there might be problems so I guess I should stay for a few more days or weeks as Naruto decided to head back just to see if he really wanted to leave or not and he decided to give them time one year passed by even if Naruto wanted to stay there a week one year went by because Naruto had to come to terms that his family really didn't love him he tried to tell them show them proof that he really wasn't the QB but nobody not even his own parents or siblings believed him and only slammed him with the Rasengan or either hurted him so badly that he had to use the healing abilities of the Mokitan user to heal himself. As after finally being an year enough, Naruto then said, All right, enough said. I've given them more than enough time and showed them enough proof that I am really Naruto, not the QB. I've satisfied myself with the answer they have to give. They have no potential to realize the sudden change. They can't change. So, it is best I leave. While for one year Naruto was trying his best to make sure his parents understand that he really was Naruto, not the imposter Kyuubi that was residing within him, he came to terms that they were not going to, well, realize that it was indeed him, but only let their hatred flow through, and even if the proof was right in front of them, disregard it completely and frame it with a, some sort of trick of the Kyuubi. Naruto began to study as well. And soon when they reached at the age of 10, Naruto was nowhere to be found in the village. For the past three years, since Naruto was seven, Naruto has disappeared. And nobody gave him much of a damn because why would they? It was Kyuubi's soul just wandering around in the dead body of the son of the fourth Okage who it has taken over. Courtesy of Shinigami, of course, but still. They couldn't kill it but beat it to an inch of his life. So yeah, they had their fill, but they were... I'm more than happy that the demon was somewhere else dying in a ditch not there in their village interrupting them and more importantly more than ever not interrupting the peace of the academy where the next generation was being prepared as while on the other side this was going on in Konoha Naruto was on his way traveling discovering new things and making new friends along the way but while he was doing so he came to learn and discover more about different aspects of using these sort of things being one in farming as he began to realize the cro crops from different well element parts of elemental nation were different and had different qualities naruto decided that he should become a farmer in his own self because it seemed like a peaceful job and a healthy one at that so naruto bought a piece of land with the given money that he had acquired from the shinigami and not only that also got a few animals such as cows and cattle he settled in 
As now, it was time for him to build himself a home. Using his mokitan, he summoned trees, and using the wind-style wind blade jutsu, he cutted them. And using his immense strength, he began to construct his own home. And after building it, Naruto was more than happy to settle inside. As now we see Naruto sitting on the porch of his farm and relaxing. Ah, this is peace. As surprisingly enough, Naruto was able to grow crops within the field that he has acquired using his abilities much more efficiently and of the premiest of the premiest quality ever produced in the whole elemental nation. And not only that, Naruto has surrounded his for his part of land with the Punjutsu arts to give it not only protection but also optimal temperature and environment for the crops to grow healthy and more beautiful than ever. Even the fruit trees that he has gotten, such as mangoes, apples and so on or whatnot. Naruto was indeed really living the best life. He has seen firsthand just how worse the shinobis could get and how greedy and power hungry they were. Naruto decided that it would be of no benefit for him to become either a mercenary, samurai or even a shinobi of all the things. He decided that he, if anything else, would become a farmer and live and enjoy his life in peace with his animals, living far away from the shinobis elites who in reality were the real animals of the society. As years begin to pass by, a drought certainly hit rock hard to the whole elemental nation. One screen filled Konoha fields were now dried out. The one nation that was hit the hardest of, out of all of them was none other than Suna. Because of its hard atmosphere, everything was gone. And since there was no supply and the villages could barely, even barely fulfill their own demand, there was nothing left for them. Naruto decided that he, having had enough of his stock and having more than enough for himself to sell some of his crops and decided to head outside. And as soon as he did, he was met with the news that there was a great famine everywhere and a drought as well. Naruto was shocked, to be honest, and headed, since he near, lived near Tsunagakure, headed there. As soon as he arrived, he was met face to face with Rasa, the Kage of the said village. As Rasa was quite shocked that such a young man was a farmer and had such premium crops. How did you acquire them? I grew them myself. It's just that I didn't have enough space to fill them in, so I brought these in to... Well, sail here, hopefully. We will buy all of them, if it is okay with you. At a fair price, any price, if, if you want. Um, any price, you say? Yes. How much are you willing to offer? One, 100,000 real for, for, for everything. Hmm, there's more than enough for the small amount that I have here, but we need that desperately. Many of the children are dying because of starvation. Whoa, is, is it that much? I have more if you want. I'm more than gladly to help here, if, if, if that is okay. I mean, I live alone, so I don't need all that much, I guess. And plus, my crops grow up very healthy and early on. So yeah, there's nothing much troubling me to grow out more, I guess. Would you really help me out with this? Help us, our village. Yes, I guess I will. Why not? Should I not? We we really will be grateful. Thank you. As after that we see, Naruto went back and brought in almost half of his supplies and gave it all to the villagers. As Naruto was supplying them, Naruto saw a small girl, almost at four or five, rushing towards him with a sack that was empty and had a malnourished skin. Please, mister, can I have some? Take as much as you want. There's... There's no need for ask for anything. Please, every one of you, take as much as you want. But make sure that it is enough so that the others can have their fill. As everyone cheered, as Rasa was happy at that as well. As was the council of the Sunagakure. As Naruto was called there to thank by the whole council. We really need to thank you, Naruto, son, for what you have done for the whole village. And as for what you have done for us in this dire time, we see you as a friend, an honorary member of our village, a respectable member of a council as well. 
Thank you, I guess, but I don't need all of that. No. It is the least we can do for everything you have done. And we promise that once we are more than stable enough, we will pay you out. There is no need. I did not know that the situation was so much worse here. Are, are situations like this everywhere? Yes. The drought has been going on for almost a year now. And every field that was green, every village that has more than enough stock for themselves has dried up. People are selling it, it in black as well, but the prices are way too much. We have gone in depth buying the stock from the black market, but even then, the prices have still skyrocketed. I guess you're right. People would do such a thing. Even if it is the end of the world, people will increase the price of caskets so that they could earn money, even in their dying breaths. Yeah, I guess there are some people like that. But anyways, we are glad that you came just at the right amount of time. Because without you, we would have been able to survive. I guess it is fine. Are there any more problems? Our wells have dried up, if anything else. We need to find a new water source. But the water sources, because of a drought, have been drying out as well. The wells almost across the elemental nations have dried out. Those who have it, use it for their own expense. Waste it. I can't believe this. Such a terrible condition. How the elemental nation has happened in the past few years. As now we see, Naruto then made his own water jutsu that he used with the help of chakra seals that he created. What is this? This is drinkable water. The chakra is being purified by these seals that I have made. If placed in a well, I can use the water style jutsu and the chakra will be filtered out and the water will become drinkable. As everyone's eyes widen, nobody has used Fuinjutsu in this manner ever before. Well, we have never tried, I guess. Because all we think about when we use these techniques is to fight and battle. Well, there are many more resources and usefulness we can do with these techniques. As Naruto then filled up all the wells and used these seals to purify all of them. The seals need to be replaced every month or so, I guess. Because I use the same on my well and replace every month. Because the seals, they too tend to have their limit to absorb chakra. I guess that will be helpful. Thank you, Naruto. And as a token for you helping us, this is the least we can do as well. As Naruto was given more than 250,000 views, this is more than enough. I, I don't need that much. No, this is the least we can do. You done what we could not have been able to achieve even after spending 5 million views. Thank you so much. We know this is little to none of that amount, but this is the only thing we can pay at the moment. As Rasa bowed down in front of Naruto. You don't need to bow to me, Kaze Kagesima. I was more than glad to help. As after that, Naruto decided to leave for the time being and return. And from time to time, within months, Naruto began to travel to Suna as well as back to his well land. And after buying much more piece of land, he began to exceed to meet the demand of the people to grow, grow crops within, well, his land that he has acquired. And... Within a few more years, we see that Suna's stability was evi evident in front of everyone. As within a Kage summit, while the Ka other Kages looked like they were malnourished somewhat and has gotten thin, Rasa looked like he was healthy. As Minato then asked, How come you look healthy, Rasa? Even after such tough situations, we were able to find a vendor who was able to lend us the goods and supplies at a favorable prices. I can call him nothing more than an angel that appeared at the right amount of time. Because if, if not, then I don't know what would have happened. We are also suffering. Can you arrange a meeting for us as well? I don't know much about you, Minato. He doesn't see a any favorable towards Konoha. What? Why? Enough with this, Minato. If he doesn't see you favorable, that that is your and Konoha's problem with him. Please, we need to do something about our village. As the Iron Country, well, leader also bowed down in front of Rasa. <sighs> Fine. But Minato and Konoha, or anyone from Konoha, is not to be present there when the meeting happens. As now we see, 
Everyone agreed as Minato was shocked by this. In such dire situations, while they were claiming that all of them should stick together, Minato, at the first chance he got, seeing as a problem, was kicked out alongside with Konoha. Back at Konoha's council, I still don't believe it. Who is this vendor who is providing such premium crops to them all? I don't know, but I was able to steal only this sample from Suna while I was scooping it out, said Jiraiya, as the crops that was in front of them was of the premium quality that they have ever seen. These sort of crops, Minato. The only grew when Sensei was alive, in the era of the first Tokage. Whoever this is must possess the Mokitan and must have a connection to Konoha. As Minato began to brainstorm, who could it be? And that is when it suddenly hit him. He remembered that one time Naruto, no, QB, tried to show him that he could use Mokitan and how he learned from the shinobis that were ambushing him once that he defended himself using the Mokitan while yelling for help and escaping. I think I know, but you're not gonna like this one bit. What? Who is it? QB. What? Have you gone insane, Minato, because of the famine? No. Have you forgotten the QB using the Mokitan twice? It even showed me that it could use it. But why would he, unless it's a trap of the QB? As now we see, Minato decided that it would be best if he saved all of them from the clutches of the QB. He formed a team alongside himself to, and decided to invade the meeting that was going on in Suna. While in Suna, we go there in the present time where the meeting was happening, where we see Naruto was seated on one side while the others were seated there. So, you want me to help you out as well? Yes. We, we, we would give anything, any amount of money that you require. I don't need that much money. The bare minimum that you're easy giving me is more than enough so that I can purchase seeds. But, but the seeds are useless. You idiot. How will he grow if he thinks that the seeds are useless? Enough, please, said Rasa. I brought you here not to fight amongst one another. Please, naruto san Would you supply, with the, supply to them as well? <sighs> Only if there is peace and there is no skirmishes or war within the four of you. Yes, even the iron country, we always have stand neutral and we won't go to war with anyone. I guess I have to purchase a more piece of land. Then you can acquire as many, much land as you can. We will provide you in Kumo, Suna, as well as in Kiri. I can go there. I have land near Suna. So, traveling to all the other different pieces of land would be difficult for me. True, that is correct. So, we, how about this? We help you purchase a, pie, a few pieces of land nearby so that you can expand. That will be helpful. As this was going on, we see suddenly the ceiling was broken and Jiraiya, Kushina, Mina. Minato, Menma, Mito, and a few other Anbus were surrounding Naruto. The time is up, QB. You're going down. Rasengan! As Naruto was slammed in the chest with the Rasengan and thrown back. As everyone got off their seat. What the hell are you doing, Minato? That is QB. Taking over the body of my son. For the last time, I'm not QB. Can't you see? I am bleeding. The QB wouldn't have even allowed you to hit himself. Can't you see past your hatred for once? Can't you realize how tough the situation is for the whole elemental nation and yet you have to give in to your hatred after all these years? I don't know what your game are you are playing. What game? Do you think this situation here is a game? You know what? I was thinking of involving you in. Just because I felt pity. But now I realize I was about to make a mistake again and make a fool out of myself. I won't give you a single grain, Minato. You and Konha can go screw themselves over. I won't hand over to you even an ounce. As Naruto did the next most baddest thing he could. Wood clones. As those wood clones then created wooden dragons, engulfing them all and throwing them all the way back to Konoha. As Naruto then sat down, as everyone was shocked that he used the wood release. Yes. I have word release and I have previous ties that I cut off with Konoha. We won't pry into that situation. But we would like you to help us and cooperate with us in order to help fix the damage that has been done by the famine to our villages. 
Oh, that I will. And so after the pieces of lands that were acquired, we see Naruto was helping out the other villages. And a few more years passed, as Minato and Konoha were getting more and more desperate, because the prices were getting too much higher, and the other nations wouldn't give them a grain, because that was Naruto's only policy that he himself stated. Seeing this as a code, they didn't give an ounce of grain to anyone. And the people in Konoha were getting much more weaker and weaker each and every passing day, to the point that they were beginning to eat grass. And even that was going out day by day now. I can't believe it. How are we gonna survive this, Minato? We need his help. We need the damn demon's help. As that is when the bright light emerged. It seems that you all have made a severe mistake. What do you mean by that? Who are you? I am Kami. I am here because I have a grave news to tell you. The drought that you all see is a curse from Yami herself because of a hurtered soul that you have hurt it. It was all because of you that the rest of the elemental nation has to suffer. And in the end, the soul had finally gotten his redemption and brought peace to the elemental nation as well. As after learning about the truth, everyone in the council Especially the Uzumaki Namikaze family were shocked. So, so you mean to say that Naruto was never the Kyuubi and Shinigami only messed with us? Well, he did took the soul at first, but he is the child of prophecy since he needed to be returned back to where he belonged so that the peace could be preserved. But you people didn't give him a chance. But he never bothered to tell us, said Minato as that is when Kushina realized, as she guessed. Ah, seems like you remember now. Or starting to remember. He he did try to tell us for a long time, and until a long time ago that he wasn't the QB. As Minato began to remember as well, as both of them were shocked. Listen, I'm not gonna say what happened here is good. I'm gonna bless Konha for a little while. But even my blessing won't be able to do 100% job. The rest is up to you. If your farmers are being lazy, then there will be no crops for the whole village or even the land of fire and as for the others naruto given the golden hand by us and being blessed by us have changed the fate of the world in his own way said kami with a smile on his face as now we see kami disappeared as she arrived inside the room where shinigami was while staying at again being bored but this time reminiscing of what he has done in the form of pranks son you seem to have changed a lot and learned a lot of lessons well, you were kept here, I hope. Of course, mother. I will change my ways, I promise. For the better, I will take my responsibilities much more seriously. I hope you will. As now we go back to the elemental nation where we see a new threat emerge as the Council of the Kages, as it was called now, was having a meeting. The Jinchurikis, you say? This is not good. Not good fun bed. Gara was attacked. But he was subdued, thanks to the Anbus nearby and him being near Naruto. As now we see, the others were also quite stressed about this. Because Naruto, because of him, the Jinchurikis who once were feared were now regarded as the primary members of the society as well and their protectors instead of being the beings who were hated for the thing they held. And even had good bonds with their Biju. What is this organization and who are they after? Said Oniki. As Aiden said, I think I know. Black cloak, red clouds, it's a Kotsky, isn't it? The group from Amegakure. I thought they were mercenaries. I, I have made them do a few of my jobs. So have I. Said Oniki. It seems that something is in common here. They were not doing jobs as mercenaries. They were doing this to scout out the village. We have made a grave mistake. What are we gonna do? As that is when we see Naruto who was resting all the way on the other side in his, well, land on the porch was meeting face to face with the orange ball of energy that then erupted as a huge gigant Biju appeared with nine tails there. What the? N nine, nine tails? You can call me Kurama kid. Nice place you got here. A room for one? Said Kurama with a smile. As Naruto was shocked. As he has heard from what, while his stay in Konoha, that the demon was 
well, quite scary. And not only that, bloodthirsty. Aren't you supposed to be... Uh, whoever the old self of mine was, I have no memory or recall of that. It is a fresh start of mine. I only remember you or living in your body, a vivid memories and holy experience in Konoha. So I thought I should be revived near you, because that is the last thing that had a fragment of my chakra or soul. I, I see. You see, us Biju has a tendency to revive where some of us has died. In the past, only the three tails had died and revived where he died. And I died when I was within you. So I reincarnated near you. I see. So you're gonna stay here? If that is okay with you. I guess it is fine. It'll be helpful for me to, you know, watch out for corpses. I see. Anyway, you need my help, I'll be there for you, kid. As this was going on, we see a few weeks pass. While Naruto was unaware of the current situation that was going on, we see that Naruto was suddenly called and informed that they were going to give him a squad made out of not only Junchurikis, but also, well, some of the Anbos. It's, it's not necessary. All of you don't need to worry about anything. But Naruto, all of the Jinchuriki staying at one place, especially at yours, that is covered by seals that nobody can enter except you, would be the safest place for them. They're being targeted by the organization. We have tracked it down, but we fear that if we went into war with it, there might be carnage. And the Jinchurikis might be taken. I see. I guess they can stay there. As Naruto then took the Jinchurikis with him, as all of them went to his place, as Naruto prepared a dish for them as they enjoyed and savored it. All the while, Naruto got to know the other people there as well, which, well, admired him. As Naruto got in close all the while with Tamari no Sabuko, sister of Gara, who he was close friends with, and one night, while the both of them were talking at porch, both of them kissed. As this was going on, we see that suddenly an explosion was heard as Tamari then said, Naruto, stand back. I can protect myself. You don't need to worry about that. We all will fight. Naruto... Don't do anything stupid. I won't. As Naruto clapped his hands together, as markings begin to appear similar to Hashirama Senju on his face. As he then said, Mokitan. Wood Golem Jutsu. As three Wood Golems appeared. As Naruto then made Wood Clones. As all of them went into battle state. As Naruto sent them out. As the Akatsuki was there alongside the rest of the Shinobi Alliance that was formed there. As Naruto then summoned the ultimate technique. 1,000 fists jutsu as a wooden huge Buddha statue emerged as 1,000 wooden fists befall on the enemies, plastering them to the ground while the others engaged and threw their most dangerous jutsu at them, subduing the Akatsuki and its army once and for all. In the end, Naruto had to use his jutsus for fighting, and even doing so, he only did so to protect his land and home and his friends. And this new reached the each and every corner of the elemental nation, even Konha, whose crops even with the blessing of Kami, didn't grow, and in the end they failed, and now were relying on the black market to survive, hunting down those who have stocked it up, and taking it off, taking it for their own self. Naruto almost felt pity for them again, but whenever, as soon as he remembered what they have done, he forget about it because he knew the chances can only be given for the second time. There is no third time, and those are the people who are the kindest of kindest. And Naruto, he himself didn't consider himself to be the kindest. As now we see, Onha has suffered and all of the blame automatically went towards, even from the council, towards the Uzumaki no Mikaze family because they failed to address this matter. Because they didn't took it seriously. And they did not possess the child of prophecy as well because he was out there. The once proclaimed demon Konha began to be hated by the rest of the elemental nation. Even the land of fire hated Konha to this much extent that it only gave them enough money to survive and nothing else. There was no funds for recovery or whatsoever. There was a stipulation given to them each and every month for survival. As this was the end of the line for them and for their arrogance. As the rest of the elemental nation celebrated even after this drought. Even the blessing of Kami, Yami, and Shinigami combined couldn't save them because they were all forsaken. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie of guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. 
if you like the content of this channel and yeah sorry guys there won't be a second story on the channel meta what ifs today but that is due to well um me having an urgency i have to go somewhere fast i know i said i have few days off but yeah i got this call and i had to go anyways sorry for you know delaying one more day but tomorrow i promise i will up upload on both of the channels anyways this is it for the day. I hope you enjoyed today's story. And if you did, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. As this is Apollo Uchiha, and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.